This is the book of John, chapter 4, verse 22. And it reads, Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakata. Yahweh being the name of our Heavenly Father, the Lord of hosts, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um today is January 1st, so-called New Year's, you know, but it's not actually the new year. Um, in this society, growing up, ever since elementary school, we've been taught that Jan that uh, December 30 30th is the last day of um, the year and that January 1st is New Year's, which is a lie, you know. Um, the God of January is, is named Janus, you know. To all Romans, Janus was the God of beginnings and ends presiding over every entrance and departure, you know. Um, in ancient Roman culture, Janus was a god of doorways, beginnings, and the rising and the setting of the sun. His name comes from the Latin Janus, meaning doorway, archway, arcade, you know. Um, there, there were many gateways in Rome where ceremonial entrances and exits were made especially for the departure of the army on an expedition. As the god of transitions, Janus is often depicted with two bearded heads that face in opposite directions, looking to both the future and the past. You know, that's why people um, make New Year's resolution because they look at their past and they see how they want to progress in their future. You know, after um, 153 BC, January, which is Januarius in Latin, became the first month of the Roman calendar, which America adopted. The figure of Janus is a perfect symbol for new beginnings, you know, but January is not, January is not the new year, according to the Heavenly Father, okay? Let me get the book of Daniel. Chapter 7. Um, so like it, bear with me. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7. I'm going to go to verse 25. And it reads, He shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Con. So this this society, you know, Esau Edom, you know, the serpent, he thought or he think to change the times and laws, which he done. You know, after 153 BC, January became the first month of the Roman calendar, which America adopted. You know, because America is Rome reloaded. You know, uh, America is Babylon reloaded. Um, yeah, he, he, he think to change the times and the laws. He changed the laws of the Most High. You know, where, where you're supposed to get put to death if you're a homosexual, but now it's, it's no crime. You know, he changed a lot of the Most High's laws. You know, and um, but January 1st is not the new year. The new year starts in the spring where life is brought forth. Let me get Romans chapter 1. So like it, bear with me. Let me get the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 25 and it reads, Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator? Who is blessed forever, our man? You know, who changed the truth for the most high into a lie? The devil, the deceiver, you know, Satan, the adversary did. You know, we have everybody on this new year wave, you know what I'm saying? Wherever you go in public, everybody talking about happy new year, happy new year, happy new year. But it's not, it is not the new year. 
And, and they look at you strange when you don't celebrate this pagan holiday. It's a pagan holiday, you know? Everybody in, is in gross darkness. They worship and know not what. Um, the most high tell you in the in the um holy scriptures when the when the new year begins, you know. Um, let me get Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16, and verse 1, and it reads Observe the month of Abib and keep the Passover unto Yahweh thy power. For in the month of Abib, Yahweh thy power brought thee forth out of Egypt by night. Let me read that again Deuteronomy, chapter 16, verse 1. Observe the month of Abib and keep the Passover unto Yahweh thy power. For in the month of Abib, Yahweh thy power brought thee forth out of Egypt by night. So what is Abib? What is the what is observing the month of Abib? Um when you get the definition of Abib, according to the blue letter, it means fresh, young barley ears, barley month of ear forming of greening of crop, of growing green, a bib, month of Exodus and Passover, March or April. You know, a bib is the spring. A bib means spring, you know. The, the beginning of the month and the beginning of the year is the beginning of spring. Um, Let me go to Exodus chapter 12, verse one and two. You got to know what you're worshiping. You got to question these holidays that you're celebrating. You know, you got to question it and you can't follow a multitude to do evil. It's evil to celebrate New Year's, you know. Woe to them that call good evil and evil good. You know, we call an evil good in this day and time. Oh, it's all right. You can celebrate New Year's. This is what we've been brought up on our whole life. You, Why change now? Change because the Heavenly Father wants you to seek him 10 times more, you know. Um, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 1. And Yahweh spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Con. So he's referring to a bill, you know. Um. This, this is when the Passover was instituted by the Most High to uh, Moses and Aaron. And he let them know that that um, this month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. That's, that's what the Heavenly Father says. That's in Exodus 12, verse 1 and 2. So that is our new year, you know. New year hasn't came yet. We still waiting on the spring. Um, when new life spring forth out the earth, that's when the new year start. The new year doesn't start when everything is still dead and it's still cold. The new year starts when new life is brought forth out the earth. Yeah. Let me give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Barakata. It's H-O-Y, Sin City. It's H-O-Y to the chariots fly. Shalom, Yasharala.